I'm the best, so do not test the top of my profession. The master of my chosen field, of that there is no question. Serious, serious profession. Serious, serious profession. Look, this is, this is Janice. Mm, she's a pretty girl. Yeah, she is. She's beautiful. But this is Rochelle. Ah, well, some are not so comely among the maidens. What am I doing? This is Everton when he got his cooking diploma. <laughs> Sorry, this is Everton. Everton's a completely different person to Rochelle. Sorry. That's Rochelle. I see. We're talking about a dead heat. Yes, we are. But what do I do? I mean, which one? Rochelle? Or Janice? Well? You're giving me Everton again. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Janice. My son, I'm a priest. It's not my job. Yes, my job. you're right. It's not just looks, is it? I mean, they're both bright, intelligent women. I mean, and okay, Janice and I are split up, but she's still carrying my child, my little boy. Or girl. My little girl. <sighs> or twins. <coughs> could even be triplets. I mean, anything could happen in the next half hour. <laughs> I used to love Stingray. God, <laughs> so what do I do? Say three Hail Marys. Hello? Hello? All right, everybody, let's get to work. Hello? Anybody here? Everton? <laughs> Thank you, God. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Gary. Yes. Happy birthday to you! Lights to lights. Happy birthday, Garrett. <laughs> I wonder who did the icing. They rushed me. <laughs> presents, presents. Oh. There you go, chef. Whoa. Yes. Oh yes. Oh, it, it was a very good year. It absolutely. And, and was. You, you will decant it, won't you? Yes, I will. Yeah, and let it breathe. <laughs> and drink it slowly. Slowly. Yes, Gustav. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> it's cashmere. I know. Thank you very much, Renee. It's lovely. Do you like it? Oh, yeah, it's great. You hate it, don't you? It's the colour, isn't it? The, the, the colour's fine. Oh, my God! <laughs> and they had it in blue! <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> Renee? Renee, I, I really, really like it, OK? Yes? Yes. OK. <laughs> this book changed my life. Anger and how to control it. Yeah, because you know how you get sometimes when you're really stressed out and you lose it and you start to shout at us and that vein in your neck starts throbbing? Oh. <laughs> <Everton>. <laughs> He's always joking that one day your head is going to spin around just like that kid on The Exorcist. <laughs> really? <laughs> American self-help psycho babble cobblers. It is not a and self-help psycho babble cobblers. <laughs> it is a really great book and it really helps you control your anger, okay? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> there you go, son. <laughs> what did the fourth wise man bring, I wonder? Ah, it's only a solid gold Rolex Oyster Perpetual. <laughs> only one of the most expensive timepieces in the world. Cyril, this is... 
<laughs> hey, look at his face. <laughs> hey, he's a fake. <laughs> hey, I've got a drawer full of them in my office. Yeah, yeah. Have another. <laughs> it's flashy, but it's completely worthless. <laughs> Wonder who that reminds me of. What a generous man you are, Cyril. I can be generous. To the right person. Here you go, Chef. Happy birthday. And it's gift wrapped. Yep. <laughs> oh. Yeah? Yeah. The Beezer book 1974. <laughs> I had this, you know. Yeah. I remember on my 14th birthday, I had this and I, I went to look for it and I couldn't find it. And it just disappeared or something. Well, Chef, should we uh, get back to work now? It's getting on. Time's getting Maybe on. my mum threw it out with all the wrapping paper and stuff. Slice of cake, Chef. <laughs> God, the Beezer book 1974. This book belongs to Gareth Blackstone. <laughs> Chef, look, I just wanted to wear it for a couple of days. A couple of days? That was 22 years ago! <laughs> just sorry, Chef. Happy birthday. Um, Chef, I need to talk. Not just now, Savannah. OK? Everton, I need to talk. Chef, look, if it's about the Beezer It's album, nothing to do with... It is not about the book, OK? Look, I want to talk to you. What I'm about to say, you've got to keep really, really quiet about it, OK? I mean, really... Janice is pregnant! <laughs> Shh. Shh. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. I should catch you in bed with Rochelle! <laughs> Did everybody on Mars get that? And she didn't catch me in bed with Rochelle. Yeah, but you said she... I said that Rochelle and I were caught in a compromising position. We weren't actually... Doing it. <laughs> yeah. So what are you going to do? Everton, that's what I'm asking you for. Oh. Look, you're my oldest friend. OK, you're an idiot, but I haven't got anybody else to turn to. <laughs> Thanks, Chef. So what am I going to do? <laughs> well, my Auntie Ruby used to always say... Yes? A man can swim, but never fly. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean, exactly? I don't know, but she always used to say... She oh. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Everton. Really useful advice there. Anyway, your Auntie Ruby was mad. She was not. They took her away in a van, Everton. I was there when it happened. She was waving at me out the back window, going, her, her. <laughs> she was nuts. Take that back, Chef. What? Take it back. Take that back about my Auntie Ruby. Everton, we're, we're grown men. What are you talking about? Take it back. <laughs> take it back or else, Chef. No, I won't. I won't take it back. Right. Take it back. Take it back. Take that back about my Auntie Ruby. I won't. Take it back. <laughs> I'll come back later. Take it back, Chef. Everton, I thought we were supposed to be discussing the intricacies of my complicated love life. Yes, Chef. I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I just flipped out. I'm sorry. Look, look. Let's sum up this situation, yeah? You and Janice split up. She wants a divorce. You spend the night together, she gets pregnant. She comes back to tell you she's having a baby. She catches you in bed, in a compromising position, <laughs> with Rochelle. She storms out. So? So, what are you going to do? <laughs> You'll just shout it out. I won't, Chef. I promise I won't. I won't. You're going to tell Rochelle it's over. <laughs> Rochelle? Hmm? Nothing. I thought you wanted to say something. No, no. Look, I know it's awkward with Janice having the baby, but you'll have access to it, won't you? It's a baby, not a private road. <laughs> All I'm saying is, I don't mind. I love children. The more, the merrier. <laughs> Cheers. Happy birthday, Gareth. Oh, Rochelle. You shouldn't have. <laughs> I'm 
flying to Paris tomorrow on a business trip and um, I thought you might like to come along. Paris? City of romance and bad-tempered wit air. <laughs> but you'll be working, won't you? Yeah, during the day. But my nights... Well, my nights will be free. The flight leaves from Stansted tomorrow. Well? You've been to Paris with Rochelle! A bit louder next time, Everton. A deaf reindeer in Lapland didn't quite hear it. What am I gonna do? Well, my auntie Ruby used to always say... Please, Everton. No more advice from the auntie that goes by the name of Ruby. Chef, I told you before, right? There was nothing wrong with my auntie Ruby, right? Anyway, your uncle Audley was just as bad. <laughs> Pardon me? Your uncle Audley, Mr. Madman. He used to plant vegetables. So? Lots of people plant vegetables. Not in other people's gardens. <laughs> he was a nutcase chef. Take it back. Hey? Take it back about my uncle Audley. No, no, I won't take it back. Right. <laughs> No, take it back. No, take it back about my uncle Audley and his vegetables. Take it Many armor. <laughs> chef, chef, do you know what you should do? No, what? I don't know. I was asking you if you knew what you should do. Everton, huh? I'm going to tell you something else now. Huh? But you must keep it really, really quiet, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Really, really, really quiet. Yeah, yeah, I promise, I promise, I promise, yeah. <laughs> what, in here? Yeah. <laughs> you get jealous kissing another man! Oh, for God's <laughs> sake! <laughs> Thank you very much, Everton. I'm sorry, Chef. Yes, you're seeing somebody else, so I figure it's all over. Why? Look, Chef, it could have been a friend or someone from work. Or a bank manager, even. Everton, you don't kiss your bank manager! <laughs> well, not unless you're really, really overdrawn. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'll go and see Janice and it'll be fantastic. I mean, she hates me now. I mean, she caught Rochelle and I trying to reenact nine and a half weeks in two and a half minutes. <laughs> to her, I am Beelzebub. But that's good because it'll make it easier. Easier for what? Easier to tell her that it's over and I'm definitely going to Paris with Rochelle. You're definitely going to Paris with. Gareth. <laughs> great. This is great. Come in. <laughs> Janice, you know you caught me with Rochelle. Well, oh, oh. <laughs> brilliant. This is brilliant. Well, she wants us to go to Paris together, and I think we might be starting a relationship. So, ah! Uh, <laughs> fantastic! And, um, even though we are having a baby, I mean, you hate me so much anyway. I mean, we might as well call it a day. I mean, that's what we both want, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Marvellous. So, um, it's over then. Absolutely. Happy birthday. It's horrible. Good, I'm so glad you hate it. You're so beautiful, Janice. Well, thanks for that. Ah-ha! <laughs> I had all in my head what I was going to say. Ah! Yes? But then I take one look at you and... You're so beautiful. I really love you, Janice. Not another slap. Okay. Arm or leg? Arm. Ah! -ha! I really want to hurt you as much as you've hurt me. I think you're getting there. <laughs> Listen, Rochelle... Yes, I absolutely, totally do not care. You're a free agent now. We both are. Saw you with a man the other day. Oh, him? He was a friend or something. Bank manager. <laughs> no, actually. We've been seeing each other for a couple of weeks now. And he's a nice man? Nice. But a ball, so I finished with him. Really? <laughs> really? <clears throat> it, 
It is my baby, isn't it? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> no, Gareth. You're really not worth it. Right. So, that is that. Where are you going? Jamaica. Oh, holiday. Good. How long are you going for? 18 months. It's not overdoing it a bit. <laughs> I've been offered a job to recruit new staff in a new hotel complex. 18 months? But that means you'll be over there when you have the baby. I suppose that just might be a possibility, yes. Well, what about me? I'm the father. Oh, I dare say you can pop around. Pop round? <laughs> you don't pop round to Jamaica. It's 4,703 miles away. My flight leaves Heathrow at 4 o'clock. Goodbye, Gareth. What do you mean, bye? That's hours away yet. <laughs> Where are you going to then? I'm not going anywhere. Say it. Mm -mm. Just don't. Mm -mm. Do not say it. Mm -mm. Genesis get to Jamaica! <laughs> Everton, if you ever want a second career, you should seriously consider being a foghorn. <laughs> She's taking the baby with her. <laughs> it hasn't even been born yet! Of course she's taking it with her. What do you think he's gonna do? Catch a separate flight? <laughs> hey little fella, don't forget to fasten that seatbelt. <laughs> She really hates me, Everton. So wait, 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 wait. You're gonna go to Paris with Rochelle then? I don't know what I'm gonna do. All it needs is a bit of calm, considered, careful thought, and I will, no doubt, in time, come to a wise decision. Oh, God, Everton, what am I gonna do? Look, look, look calm down, look. I'll tell you what, I'll get me calm. What? Well, look, Rochelle and Janice, they're flying out today, right? And you've got to do something about it, right? That's brilliant. When did you think of that? Just now. Everton, I can kiss you! <laughs> oh! <laughs> so you're friends again, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> There's a god after all. Good stuff. Savannah. She's giving it her notice. Oh, what a beautiful morning! <laughs> oh, what a beautiful day! I'll go and talk to her. Chef, 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 look, we ain't got time. The flight's... Oh, come on, come on. Right, where to? Stands at the airport. <laughs> whoa, 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 Everton. <laughs> Why are we suddenly wearing sunglasses? Well, it's exciting, isn't it? I mean, we're going to race to the airport. It'll be just like what they do in the films. <laughs> Take them off. I bought you a pair as well. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Everton. Chef. Are we being followed? No. Well, why do you keep looking in the mirror? Just checking to see if I look cool. <laughs> oh, yes. Michelle. Gareth! Excuse me, sorry, sorry. Why are you wearing sunglasses, Gareth? I'm sorry. You're not coming, are you? Rochelle, I'm sorry. You're a great girl, you know. Another time, another place. Well, it could have been great. It could have been fantastic, Gareth. Yeah, indeed it could. You don't hate me, do you? Of course I don't hate you. I never could. I'm sorry. <sighs> You're not coming, are you? Michelle, I'm sorry. You're a great girl. Another time, another place. And... Well... You! How does she 
take it. Oh, quite well. In the circumstances. Right, Heathrow, right? No, Le Chateau. But Genesis flight chef is Le Chateau and Everton. Sure. Sunglasses. Savannah, the knife. Put the knife down, Savannah. You are in big trouble, mister. Big, big trouble. You have made me miss my flight, and you will have to pay the price. This book, this is a great book. You should read it. It's not funny. Savannah, give me the knife. Uh, this washes off, yes? Oh, my God. This may hurt a tad. Listen, Savannah. No! <laughs> a tad. <laughs> I want to know why. Well, maybe you know when I got the job, I, I thought I'd have more responsibility. Savannah, why? How many Valentine's cards did you get this year? Fourteen. You shouldn't sign them, you know. It's a bit of a giveaway. <laughs> Janice is having a baby. Oh, my God. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, so you're going to go back to her, huh? I don't know what I'm going to do. Listen, Savannah, I want you to run the kitchen for a bit. Excuse me? I want you to run the kitchen, you know, while I'm sorting myself out. You want... So you please then. <laughs> You'll have to liaise with Cyril. Oh my God. I'm sorry, no can do. What? Cyril and me, the wedding last week. You snog Cyril! <laughs> it was a peck. And ever since then, he's been all over me like stink on a dead dog. <laughs> okay, we can deal with this. We can absolutely deal with it. Savannah, Cyril. <laughs> now, I am not a cruel man. Yes, you are. But sometimes one has to get one's message across in a short space of time. Cyril, Savannah does not want to be and never will be your Valentine, your sweetheart, or your squidgy love bundle. No, we snogged. <laughs> now, listen. Just because you're in charge does not mean you make Gustav's life a misery, OK? Please, I'm a professional. Good. I've got to go. Size. Airports, where food comes to die. <laughs> Janice. Don't. I'm still going away. I don't care if you're upset. <laughs> I know. I really don't care. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you didn't look after me. I know. You never, ever stopped working. I know. You never, ever took time off. I know. And when you were home, you were too tired to talk to me. I know. Too tired to make love to me. 
You haven't said, I know. I know. Oh, goodness me, I'm so sorry I've worked so hard. What on earth was I thinking about? <laughs> all those nights at Le Chateau Anglais, when I could have been at home, lying in bed, making love to you. And all that time I was there thinking, oh, good, another night with my reputation on the line. Another night trying for my third Michelin star. Gareth. Another night trying to prove to myself that my life has not been a total failure and that, horror of horrors, I am actually, believe it or not, quite good at something. Dennis, I'm sorry. <laughs> Dennis, please, stop. The baby, it'll think there's an earthquake. <laughs> Dennis, please. Marry me. What? Marry me. But we are married. I know. But it seems like such a long time ago. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, come on, Gareth. We'll stop now. Not again. Come on. Blow. <laughs> oh, don't look. Don't look. <laughs> I don't know. What are we going to do with you? <sighs> Shoot me. <laughs> we needn't be that drastic. Oh, look at you. You are worn out. It'll do you good. What will? A little bit of holiday in Jamaica. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't tell me you knew I was going to chase you all the way down here. <laughs> no. Nice try, but I don't buy it. Uh-uh. I've got free will. What would have happened if I hadn't turned up? But you did turn up, didn't you? <laughs> Only because I wanted to. Not because you made me. OK, if you planned it all, where's my... OK, so you bought a ticket, but I haven't got any clothes. What am I supposed to... Do you like it? It's horrible. <laughs> after me and the baby. <laughs> hmm. I, I can't stay out there too long, because I'll have to get back to... Um... Le Chateau, I know. I've booked your return flight in a fortnight. Mm. Thought of everything, haven't you? Yep. Hmm. Oh, my God. What? I've got a problem. I've got a major big problem. I haven't got my... <laughs> you are my oldest friend, and I am and always will be your employer until you decide to move on to better and brighter things. But I promise you, if you ever tell anyone else about what I'm going to do in the next ten seconds, I will personally track you down and disembowel you. Is that understood? Yes, sir. The top of my profession The master of my chosen field Of that there is no question Take the time to listen To what I have to say To what I have to say And we have to play It's a serious Serious profession Serious 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 profession Serious